I'm going to be very transparent about my desires to go national. That was Brett Yormark, the Big 12 Commissioner, stating it once again in public yesterday. We're going to be hitting that story hard here at episode 81 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We're also going to be discussing Dennis Dodd, CBS reporter, his conversation with Arizona Wildcats podcast of two days ago, basically laying down the context of what Brett Yormark said yesterday. Unbelievable how a Big 12 commissioner, how any commissioner is as transparent as Brett Yormark. And as we had advised you all about a month ago, please listen to the words. Believe the words that someone tells you. Brett Yormark, I'm going to be very transparent about my desires to go national. We're going to be playing a 1 minute and 29 second audio clip for you from Brett Yormark from yesterday. But first... Let's get into Dennis Dodds, CBS reporter, talk in a Arizona State Wildcat podcast of two days ago. I'm not going to play you the podcast, obviously, but I'm going to go through the bullet points. I invite you to listen to this podcast uh, yourselves. But first, smash that like button if you like our content. Please subscribe to our ever growing channel and share this video with your family and friends. Thank you for all your support here at peek around the corner. Now, let's get into, first of all, here is a podcast that Dennis Dot, CBS Sports, he joined Mike Luke to discuss ESPN Fox priori- prioritizing Big 12 over Pac-12, financial improvement in the Big 12, incorrect Pac-12 TV rumors, Pac-12 TV rumors, Pac-12 now relying on streaming services and the future for Arizona. Again, I invite you to go ahead, listen to this podcast on your own. I'm just going to be going through the bullet points. I listened to it. I thought it was very interesting. Very interesting. First of all, Dennis Dodd says that the Big 12, according to his reporting, is very close to an agreement with Fox and ESPN. Although he cannot confirm on his own about that $400 $400 million figure. He does say other people are reporting it. And if they can get that $400 million per year, it would be much more than anyone anticipated. Anybody anticipated. Because that would mean, in Dennis Dodd's own words, $5 million more for per school per year than the previous Big 12 contract. The current Big 12 contract. Now, Dennis Dodd did say it's probably because of inflate, inflationary means, right? Right? The later the contract you do, the more money you're going to get because just of inflation on itself. But still, no one expected the Big 12 to actually make more in media money in this next coming media contract than they did previously as they lose Oklahoma in Texas. This would be an incredible, incredible achievement. By your mark and those 12 Big 12 institutions, not including Texas and Oklahoma, to get this $400 million contract if they can get it. Dennis Dodd also talks about the incentives for Big 12 and your mark to move now, to get the deal done now instead of waiting 16, 18 months from now. The, the windows, right? The windows, the exclusive windows that Fox, that Big 12 could get right now over the Pac-12 if they could strike a deal with ESPN and Fox right now instead of waiting. It's very crucial for Big 12. There's few remaining good exclusive windows left in the weekend schedule of college football and Big 12 can go grab them if they can get the deal done now. Dennis Dodd also says Fox is prioritizing Big 12 over the Pac-12. Big time. He also says that. Your mark is being very aggressive in his deal making. And even though everybody knew he was a salesman going into this job, everybody underestimated his aggressiveness. He's being very aggressive. Dennis Dodd also talks about San Diego State. Obviously a great location, a good new stadium. Dennis Dodd talks about how the Big 12 is could be very are very interested in San Diego State and Pac-12 should move on this. We have been saying this for weeks here at Peak Around the Corner. We had an episode that San Diego State 
Pac-12 must move on San Diego State. With the Big 12, with UCLA and USC going to the Big 10, with UCLA and USC going to the Big 10, Southern California cannot be just occupied by the Big 10. Someone's got to go get, grab San Diego State, and it better be the Pac-12. But Dennis Dodd also says in his reporting here at the Arizona State Podcast with Iron Mike Luke, that the Big 12 is more in line with each other. They're all willing to sign that grant of rights. Then, and that, of course, would strengthen their media deal, would get them more money. The Pac-12 is not in line. Dennis Dodd was asked, where do you see Washington and Oregon three years from now? From, from Mike Luke, he asked the question, where do you see Oregon and Washington three years from now? Dennis Dodd really couldn't answer the question, but he did say, I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing that Oregon Washington has no interest in signing a, a, a strong grant of rights with the Pac-12 in this upcoming deal. So the Big 12 is ready to move. They're ready to move. If they can find the right candidates, they're ready to expand. And I believe here at Peak Around the Corner that they will be willing to expand with San Diego State if they can't latch on to the Arizona schools. Now, let's jump to Brett Yormark's own words yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want you to listen to what he has to say. Okay. He wants more. He wants to go truly national from east to west. He wants the Big 12 to be a truly national conference throughout this great country. Those was his words from east to west. Big 12 is going from five states to eight states, but he wants more. He wants more for the Big 12. Now, he also says just because you want more doesn't mean you should do it. But then he finishes off this uh, interview, what, what he said here, by saying the Big 12 is truly aligned. All the 12 school universities and institutions, including the new ones that are coming on board, the four new ones, they're truly aligned in their mission, the direction that they all want to go. We at Peek Around the Corner truly believe that Brett Yormark has the green light to go ahead and expand, and he's got his list of schools, of course, those Pac-12 schools, those Four Corner schools, and San Diego State. And, of course, he's been talking with ESPN and Fox, saying, if we strike this deal, this is what we want to do. We want to take uh, X amount of schools from the Pac-12, and if we can't do that, if they don't come on the board, we want San Diego State. There's no doubt he's been having these conversations. So our, our opinion at Peek Around the Corner, if a deal gets done, if Brett Yormark gets a deal done with ESPN and Fox and he strikes it within the next week or two, that means expansion was okayed as well. That means the green light. That means the, 
That means it was a go for launch. A We've been talking about a go, no go for launch decision window for the Big Ten between August 15th and October 15th. Here at Peak Around the Corner in October 12th, we said it was a no go for launch. Big Ten decided not to expand at this time. Big 12 is doing the same thing. Big 12 has its own go, no go for launch for further expansion. And it's all tied in around this new media contract with Fox and ESPN. If your mark can get the deal struck now, the Pac-12 is in danger of losing Southern California to the Big 12. That is our strongly held opinion here at Peak Around the Corner. Listen to the words of Brett Yormark is saying and actually believe them. We know there was an article out in the... Uh, from Joe Kanzaga uh, out in Oregon talking about how Brett Yormark is a salesman. He's a salesman. This guy is always closing, uh, sort of mocking the idea that Brett Yormark is a salesman. And then, of course, uh, Pac-12 Commissioner George Kleikoff was praised yesterday by Pac-12 writers in how he sold the conference, how he was selling the Pac-12 conference during the basketball media rights. That's what commissioners do. They sell. They have to sell to their own institutions. They have, they have to sell the conference to the media companies. They have to sell the conference to you, the consumer. That's what a Big 12 commissioner is all about. Setting the direction, setting the vision, and selling it on a daily basis. Now, your mark is doing it more in public than others. But my goodness, to mock a commissioner... Because he's a salesman that he's selling this conference. Man, I, I choose not to do a whole episode on that because I did not want to sit here and criticize other people's reporting. That's not what Peek Around the Corner does. But my goodness, I tell you, people are sort of out of step with reality. Brady Allmark is out there selling the Big 12. Believe what he is saying. He wants to go national. His own institutions are aligned behind him unlike the Pac-12 institutions, are not aligned behind George Kleikoff. And that's not George Kleikoff's fault. That's just the hand that he was dealt. Oregon and Washington are not going to be signing a grant of rights that has really, truly any teeth to it. And that hurts Kleikoff's own bargaining power up when he goes up in front of ESPN and Fox. And it's probably one of the reasons why he hasn't been able to strike a deal with ESPN and Fox. But Brady Yormark has the schools aligned behind him. He is saying it out in public. His desires for the conference to go national. He wants a fourth window. What schools do you think he in, he's meaning in, when he says this? The Arizona schools and San Diego State. So Pac-12, George Kleikoff, you better act now. I mean right now. Get San Diego State on board. Get that deal done with Amazon or a digital media company, if that's what you choose to do, along with ESPN, because you can't go strictly streaming right now. Pac-12 has to act because Brett Yormark is acting soon, very soon, if he can get that $400 million from ESPN and Fox per year, $400 million. Wow, if he can do it. Stick with us here at Peek Around the Corner. This is the story that we're all following. It's getting heated. It's getting dramatic. Until next time, from all of us at Peek Around the Corner, to all of you, please, you all take care of each other. Thank you so very much.